Hi there geometers. I am making this video to remind you of something you very likely learned in Algebra 1 or Algebra or whatever you called it in maybe 7th, 8th, ninth grade math, um, but that you might need to use in our course. So this is finding out whether two lines and both of them I'm just given two points and said there's a line that goes through these two points there's a line that goes through these two points <clears throat> and we're determining whether those two lines are parallel perpendicular or neither so let's first recall how we're going to know that okay if they are parallel they should have the same slope the exact same slope same sign same number everything if they are perpendicular they should have opposite reciprocal slopes now what that means opposite is in terms of their sign okay so in other words plus or minus one of them is positive one of them is negative reciprocals is when you take a fraction and flip it over okay so for instance the reciprocal of two-thirds is three over two the reciprocal of a whole number is one over that number in other words like four the reciprocal is one-fourth because four is like four over one if we want opposite reciprocals, one of these would have to be negative and the other one would be positive. <clears throat> Another way of saying that, by the way, is that there are two slopes of the two lines. If they're perpendicular, the product of their slopes has to be negative one. If I multiply this number and this number, I'll get negative one. That's always true if the two numbers are opposite reciprocals. Okay, and finally, um, neither one. If neither of those two things is true, then they're not parallel and they're not perpendicular. So let's go ahead and find the slope and find out. Now our slope formula, rise over run, which means the difference between the y's, that means how much do the y values change? How much does it go up or down? And the run is the difference between the x's. How much do the x's change? How much do they go left or right? So that's what I'm gonna do for each one of those. So it doesn't matter which point you start with as long as you're consistent. Meaning, if I want the slope of this line, I could do four minus three first, and then I'd have to multiply, I mean, and then I'd have to subtract negative one minus two, or I could do three minus four first, as long as I did two minus negative one. Whichever way you go, for the y's, you have to go the same direction for the x's. So let's do four minus three. So I went from left to right, so I'm going to do that for the x's, negative 1 minus 2. That's positive 1 on top, negative 3 on the bottom. In other words, that's negative 1 third. So I have a slope of negative 1 third here. That means that if this slope is negative 1 third, those lines are parallel. If this slope is positive 3 over 1, these lines are perpendicular. So let's find out. I'm going to do 3 minus 6 on top, negative 5 minus negative 4 on the bottom. Don't forget your signs. Be careful of your signs. Minus a negative 4 is plus. In other words, this is what we really have here. Negative 5 plus 4. So that's going to be negative 3 over negative 1, which is 3. Are these two numbers opposite reciprocals? Yes, they are. So these lines are perpendicular. If they had been the same, that would make them parallel. Remember the other way for me to check these, not just is it flipped over and changed sign, is let's go ahead and multiply those numbers. That gives me negative 3 over positive 3, which is negative 1. So that's one way to check if they are opposite reciprocals. The thing here is that line QR is perpendicular to line st forgive the bell ringing and that is my answer hope that helped see you later